Today's topic is aquarium sealant. Uh, basically, I've gotten a lot of questions regarding this. People are on the search for a sealant that they can spray a decoration with to ensure that it's aquarium safe. So, uh, I I know what I've used for years, and uh, but for this video, I hit I hit the research hard. A lot of people have been using like. Um, the go-to is fiberglass resin for, an, for a clear sealant. Fiberglass resin, um, people have been using it, but if you also research if fiberglass resin is aquarium safe, there's a lot of discrepancy because people claim that it leaches out toxins down the, down the road, essentially, over time. Um, finding an aquarium sealant is somewhat of a tough thing because, uh, like, what... Some people are using like acrylic polyurethane products. <sighs> um, I don't know about how I feel about all that stuff, but what I have used through the years is literally Plasti Dip. I know Plasti Dip is somewhat new technology. It's literally, it comes in aerosol cans and you can spray whatever you want and it's plastic base. It's 100% plastic base and it cures. So what I do is just buy the clear stuff. So. I, like I said in other videos, I use Plasti Dip to spray the back of the tanks. Um, I'll spray anything inside the tank. Sometimes I'll paint white PVC pipes with black Plasti Dip because the white PVC pipes are a lot cheaper than the black ones. So, a clear sealant. I would highly advise you just go with Plasti Dip in the color of clear. It comes in an aerosol can. You could do a couple coats, and it's 100% plastic based. So. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, a lot of people don't, they forget Plasti Dip is a thing. You know, like it, it's 100% plastic based. You don't have to worry about like acrylics. Uh, some people use clear acrylon fusion paint. Plasti Dip is safe, 100% plastic based. I've said that like six times now. Uh, knocking out some questions here. Uh, sorry if the videos are kind of like vague and just, uh, stupid essentially because I'm just answering a pure question I'm trying to I'm trying to nail out a lot of these uh, videos and try to throw as many questions as I can into one video but sometimes you, this happens so the best aquarium sealant clear sealant essentially is Plasti Dip in my opinion and I'll throw a link in the description box um, yeah let's take a look at some beautiful fish guys here is some Severums they are growing very rapidly. Got a geophagus there. Gold severums, green severums, electric blue acaras are growing beautifully. What else is there? Angels are doing great as usual. They keep breeding. I just don't take out the eggs and they eat them. So angels are doing great. Got some algae in the back tank. The piranhas are doing great. See if we can get some action without scaring them. There we go. I think I'm convinced that I'm going to be putting the piranhas in my other 125 for now and just let them grow out. I want to make a super large like cave decoration though that they can hide behind that's like super tall. I'm not quite sure what I want to make it out of yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be plastic based and using some of that expandable foam with some like lava rock involved so that it can grow some beneficial bacteria and have the weight to sink. So without further ado, what else can we share? Africans are doing great. Africans, I'm maybe gonna pick up some more today. I'm going to the fish store with my daughter. I don't know, I just can't. I can't get on board with Africans, but they're still cool. This is a 40 gallon breeder with just a sponge filter. But yeah. Aquarium sealant, hopefully that helps you guys. Plasti Dip is my answer. I love Plasti Dip. Uh, I could rave about it. I, I paint uh, my car wheels with it. I paint anything I can. It just peels right off later. Or you can like sand the surface a little bit and it sticks very well. So, all right, aquarium sealant, I'm out.